Kansai International Airport is one of the busiest airports in Japan and is the primary access point when flying into the Kansai region. Located on a man made island in Osaka Bay, about 40 kilometers south of central Osaka, Kansai Airport has two terminal buildings. Terminal 1 handles international and domestic flights by major airlines and is also where all transportation options to the surrounding areas are located. Terminal 2, which is on the other side of the island, services low cost airlines and can be reached via free shuttle bus. For many visitors, these terminals are the first places in Japan they must navigate. So, here is a brief overview of how to maneuver through Kansai International Airport and get to the surrounding cities when arriving on an international flight. After deplaning, the first stop is immigration. To expedite the process, each passenger should have their disembarkation form filled out before approaching the counter. Here, an officer will scan the fingerprints of your index fingers and take your photo. Assuming everything goes well, you can move on to the baggage claim. Everyone arriving on an international flight, except for those connecting to another international flight, must collect their checked luggage here. This includes passengers connecting to domestic flights. With baggage in hand, customs is next. Each family will need to hand in a customs declaration form, which should be filled out ahead of time. Passengers with items to declare should use the red lanes, while those with nothing to declare should go through the green ones. Finally, after clearing customs, you will enter the public area of the terminal where there are many useful services you may want to take advantage of before leaving the airport, such as currency exchange and ATMs, Wi Fi and SIM card rentals, information counters, baggage delivery and storage, showers, nap rooms and lounges, rental car pickup, and many more. Also, if you purchased a Japan Rail Pass, this can be picked up at the JR Ticket Office in Kansai Airport Station, which is connected to Terminal 1 on the second floor. This is also where all trains arrive and depart. When you're ready to leave the airport, there are many options to consider. The most popular train routes are the JR Limited Express Haruka, which is a fast option that goes directly to Tennoji Station, where you can transfer to Nara, Osaka Station, where you can transfer to Kobe, as well as Shin Osaka and Kyoto Stations, both of which are also Shinkansen stops. The Haruka has nice seats, luggage storage, as well as both non reserved and reserved seating options. Although it is the most expensive train option, using the Ikoka and Haruka or the Haruka one way discount tickets makes it similar in price to the other options. More details about purchasing these discount tickets can be found in the description box below the video. Another fast option is the Nankai Rapid, which goes directly to Namba Station, located in the middle of Osaka's southern downtown center. From Namba, it's also possible to transfer to trains which go directly to Kobe and Nara. Like the Haruka, The Rapid trains also have nice seats and luggage storage. However, one main difference is that the Rapid has only reserved seating options. This means that passengers need to have a reserved seat ticket in order to ride. And finally, there are two types of slower but cheaper commuter trains the JR Kansai Airport Rapid, which goes to several major stations on the Osaka Loop Line, including Tennoji and Osaka, and the Nankai Airport Express, which goes to Namba. It's important to note that these two trains make more frequent stops than their faster alternatives and can become somewhat crowded during rush hours. Apart from trains, the other transportation options are the airport limousine buses, which go to a wide variety of destinations around the Kansai region, including Osaka, Kyoto, Kobe, and more. And of course, taxis, which cost between 15,000 to 20,000 yen to get to central Osaka. Both buses and taxis depart just outside Terminal 1 on the first floor. We hope this video helps you know what to expect when navigating through Kansai International Airport. For more information or to watch another video, click the links on the screen now or head over to japanguide.com, your comprehensive, up to date travel guide first hand from Japan. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos about Japan. Happy travels!